All right, gentlemen, tell us a little about your... Okay, the name of this is the Pentadrome, because there's five drums, and it's a drum. <laughs> All right, and then how we made it was we thought there was like this Tupperware set, and like we took them all, put them in order from biggest to smallest, and then we duct taped them all together, and then painted blue. And the pitch, um, since this is bigger, uh, the waves have to travel across more, so it makes it a lower uh, frequency. And then this has less space, so it gets higher, 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 until this. And because it's the smallest, it has the least amount of space to travel, so it's the highest. Why? Because there's... About frequency, what about the frequency? Because the waves, like, they reflect really fast, so then it's higher pitch, and then this, there, it's a lot bigger, so they don't reflect as fast. Okay. Will you play them all, Isaac? <coughs> okay. What else, John? We could tune it, and uh, if we tuned it, we'd put a hole in it, which would create less space because there's a hole in it. Okay. Or we could put lids on the bottom so they couldn't escape as easily. Like half a lid. Cool. Is there anything you guys could have done that would have made your drums louder the way that you have them set up right now? Maybe have something holding them up so they weren't like on the table. Okay. So, so that would allow what to happen? More air out. Well, okay. We could have put a bucket under each of them, which would allow the sound to resonate okay. in the bucket. Could you make the drums directional at all? We could. What could you do to make those directional? To make the sound come this you way? You could put like a hole right here. So keep it in mind, when you have a hole for the air to escape, it's kind of like a, like a guitar, right? Like with the hole in it, it's directional. Cool. Okay, anything else you guys want to talk about? Nope. Who's going first? <laughs> Isaac is. Yeah, I, wanna, I, wanna, I don't want to know what it is. I just want to play it, you to play it, and then we'll, uh, we'll see what we can figure it out. Nobody knows it, though. Well, let's just see. we we'll see how we do. Let me go. I do. Okay. Anybody have any clue what that is? I do. Anybody that doesn't know already? <laughs> Play it again, Isaac. It's the kick. Wait, yeah, kick. I think you got the, the, the pattern right, Isaac. I'm not positive that the notes are right. Because I think you there's. You told me it was good. I think there's. Is that what you played earlier? Yeah. Okay. I, I think there's a middle in there somewhere. No, I'm wrong. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. What do you? I go cry. It's a candy bar commercial. Yeah, it's it is. It's a Kit Kat commercial. So you guys think that he played it correctly? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he 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 needs a little higher sound. It was all right, Isaac. I think that you maybe had a couple not quite right, but I didn't have a Kit Kat bar to do like. No, I got it. No, okay. Just, oh, I get it. Okay, thing. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, it would have done something more extravagant, but uh, now they have like 30 minutes to learn this. Which oh, is like plenty a week, of time. week to do it. That's a lot Go ahead. Okay. Get ready. I'm excited. Get ready. <laughs> Yay! 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 Yay!